Minnesota's highest court has a new head justice. The governor today appointed Natalie Hudson as chief justice of the Supreme Court, making her the leader of the state's judicial system. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shares her historic path to this top spot. To promote and uh, the general welfare of, of its citizens. Justice Natalie Hudson is used to being in charge, but soon she will do it at the state's highest level. That it is my incredible pleasure to know that we will be appointing Associate Justice Natalie Hudson to be Minnesota's next Chief Justice of the Minnesota Supreme Court. News that was met with much excitement and little surprise from those who worked with her at the state Supreme Court. Um, Justice Hudson is extremely smart, diligent, is always prepared um, for anything that comes before her, but also at the same time is deeply kind, um, is mentoring. After 40 years as an attorney and eight as a justice, she's starting a new job and marking new territory. The fact that I'm the first person of color and the first black person to be the chief justice of the state of Minnesota is, is of course not lost on me. And I'm deeply humbled and honored by uh, this recognition. Her father also made history, becoming football coach of McAllister College in 1971, the first black coach in a turbulent time in history. So watching him for me was a lesson in perseverance, in courage, and in integrity. And that has carried me through, through my career. A career that has reached new and celebrated heights. Regardless of race, this is the type of person you would want to be leading the judicial branch. In St. Paul, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO News. Chief Justice Hudson thanked her mentors and thanked her husband, who is a pastor, and her son, who is an attorney for the BCA. Justice Carl Procaccini will fill Hudson's seat on the court.